Hey, God bless you. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. We want to encourage you to hang here with us just for a few moments. This gives us an opportunity each morning as you start your day to share a verse or two, a thought or two, hopefully something that you can just chew on as you go through the day. Uh, we know that the Word of God, according to John 6 and 63, is both spirit and life for us. And so the principle, the life lessons, the truth in the Bible, we, we absolutely love it. And so the opportunity to share a thought or two with you for us is a great privilege. And so King Hezekiah, great king, uh, great history, great recording through the scripture of him. And I just want to read a verse or two, uh, really just one, when we get into 2 Kings in the 18th chapter, about some of the first things, the initial things that King Hezekiah did. And we really do think it's just a great picture for what the Lord is doing today. This is in, again, 2 Kings chapter 18 and verse 4. It says that King Hezekiah removed the high places. He broke the sacred pillars, cut down the wooden images and broken pieces broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made. For until those days, the children of Israel burned incense to it and called it Nehushtan. Let me read that second part again. King Hezekiah broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made. For until those days, the children of Israel burned incense to it and they called it Nehushtan. You can find the very first mention of this this brazen serpent, this bronze serpent in Numbers 21. We know that Israel, once again, they murmured, they complained, they rebelled against the Lord, they grumbled, and God sent serpents into the camp. And as they bit people, the Bible says that those people died. So Moses cried out to the Lord, and the Lord instructed him, you know the story, to build a, a bronze serpent, put it on a pole, lift it up. Really, it was a picture of Christ years before uh, he was lifted up on the cross. And the Lord said, everybody that looks on it will be well, will be whole. Now, you don't read about this brazen serpent. At least I can't find any place in the scripture that we read about the brazen serpent, the bronze serpent, past Numbers 21. Those, there's a few verses in Numbers 21, I think it's like verses 4 through 9, that you read this account. You do not read about it again until 2 Kings chapter 18. This bronze brazen serpent that was put on a pole and lifted up for the healing, for the deliverance, for the freedom, for the wellness and the wholeness of Israel was for a moment, it was for a time, it was for a short season, and then God was done with it. But God's people had been dragging that thing around for 800 years. And the Bible says it became a snare to them. It actually became an idol to them. They were burning incense to it. God had not used it. He had not breathed on it. He had not anointed it. It was, there was no instruction to, uh, for a repeat the way they did in Numbers 21 for 800 years. Finally, King Hezekiah destroyed it. So here's my question. What is it in this moment of time, God, you, listen, what are we dragging around that God's done with? Let me just say it that way. What are we, the church, what are we individuals, what are we dragging around that at one time, in a moment of time, in a short season, God used it, it brought healing, it brought freedom, it brought deliverance, there was an anointing on it, God's breath was on it, but he's, he was done with it back then. But we're still dragging it around. It can be an outreach, it can be a, a, a song selection, it can be a, a number of different things. It can be a way of thinking. What is it that God is trying to part from us in this season that we're in? Again, he used it at one time, but he's done with it. And we've been dragging it around for, for eons. And what happens is, it can become a snare to us. It can become something that becomes more important than hearing the voice of the Lord moment by moment and day by day. So we just want to encourage you with that. If there are some things the Lord is really encouraging you to let go of in your individual lives, let it go. If there are some things that, again, God used it in times past, it was a blessing in times past, but he's done with it, and He's and you and it are parting company, let it go. Let God lead you into your future without dragging a weight around that he doesn't have any intention in using anymore. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.